Hi there, Mail Skateers. Welcome back to my channel um, and happy Halloween season. I hope that you are really getting into the fall vibes and enjoying the mini vlogween I'm bringing to you. I, um, if this is your first time, finding me or if you just haven't had time to subscribe yet make sure you do that down below because so many cool things are coming up and if you have subscribed hi make sure you comment down below so many of you are subscribed and so few of you comment but I would love to hear from you um, I know some people just think like oh she's not gonna say anything back or she doesn't really care if I say hi no I really do I, I'm I, seriously I love even just saying hi that would be awesome send me an, a, like an emoji that would be fun uh, but whatever you'd like to do. Before I get into the video today, well I will tell you what we're opening today. We're going to be opening these two Disney Villain Tsum Tsum boxes, which I really, really love, but have had kind of bad luck with because villains hate princesses. So they've kind of not been nice to me as I've been opening them, but I think that luck could change today. And we're going to open two villainy kind of pin bags. And I feel like it's been forever since I opened a pin bag on my channel. So it's about time. It actually feels like weird to think about how I'm going to open these. Um, before I get into that though, I just want to do a quick plug unsolicited for a friend of mine who has an amazing YouTube channel. If you like my YouTube channel, if you like my videos, you have got got to check out my friend Robin at oh, um, at Hello Robin. Oh, Hello Robin. Her videos are just so much fun and she's so great. I, I don't think there's anybody as close to like my style on YouTube that I found than she is. So if you enjoy this video, you need to go check her out. And the reason I'm bringing this up today is because she's doing a series throughout the month of October called Boo to Tuesdays, which I, I'm just jealous I didn't think of that. Great idea, Robin. It's so cute. Where she's opening, like, kind of like I am, like villain slash Halloween mystery pins. I know she opened some not so scary party pins last time. Um, and so you have to go check that out if you like mystery pins and if you like Disney and if you like people who are similar to me, if you like my style. So, that being said, I don't even know what to start with today except I've kind of been dying to open the World of Evil. I haven't opened this in so long and a lot of my own personal World of Evil pins have come from trading because I opened maybe, I want to say I've opened this three times and two times I got the same exact bag, which is crazy. Like I kind of get it if it's a pin box with like 10 options to get the same box, but a pin bag with 15 options, that's so many more options statistically that it sounds so crazy to get the same exact bag. I need to kind of check my collection out to see who I still need. Okay, and um, I turns out I have a lot of them. Wow, I have more than I thought. I have Stromboli from Pinocchio, Hades, Jafar, Lady Tremaine from Cinderella, the Evil Queen, who's just so cute. Oh my God, I can barely stand it. Shere Khan, Chernabog, who I had to trade for because, oh my god, like he just looks so villainous but also so adorable. The um, Queen of Hearts, King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph, Scar, and Madame Mim from The Sword in the Stone. And I also have Gaston, who is not here because I did just the other day move him to my Beauty and the Beast pin board, so imagine what Gaston looks like and you know my collection. And let's see, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pins. Wow, that means I only need three. I could actually complete this today. That's pretty cool. So checking out the back of this pin bag, the only ones I need left are Mother Gothel, Cruella de Vil, and Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So we're hoping for Mother Gothel, um, Cruella de Vil, and Frollo. Let's, let's, let's dig into this bad boy, huh? Okay, so I mean, in all likelihood, I would hope to just get, get like one or maybe two of those. Asking for all three seems a little greedy, and I'm not trying to be a villain, so let's see. All right, I'm going to do a quick pop-up, and we'll see if I'm happy. <gasps> oh my god! I think, I've never said this before, even just in my own personal life, but I think... It just popped into my head from Ryan from Disney Pins Blog. I believe he coined the phrase right off the rip. <laughs> and the first pin is one I need, so right off the rip, <laughs> I got Mother Gothel. And she is just amazing looking. Oh, I can't wait to show you. And then I might as well do the next couple at the camera. Because now I'm like, you've seen my reaction. It was a good one. <laughs> 
And here she is. Like, look at her hair, her robe, her very, like, stern, maybe, expression. I think she is really cool. I like how her hair comes off the pin, and it's, it's like a very rippled look. I'll show you kind of from the back. You can see the ripples of her hair, which I think is pretty neat. I like that all these characters are on the same purple background. I didn't like that at first, but, but I don't know. These pins have quite grown on me. I can't believe it. Now I only need Cruella and Frollo. So no matter what, this has definitely been a success because it's not a du all duplicate bag. All right, come on, Pin. He doesn't want to come out. Very villainous. Oh, I said, hey, maybe it's a girl. Maybe it's Cruella. Let's find out. <gasps> no way. <laughs> oh my god, I was just teasing, guys. Now I'm thinking Frollo's going to be in here. What am I going to do if he's not, right? Oh my god. What are the odds of this? So, uh, I, I'm so speechless and so stunned. This was a great pack to open with. Probably would have been good to end with it, too, though. Um, but look at her hair. She's looking very 80s in this, doesn't she? She has, like, a mullet. Corolla has a mullet. But she also, of course, has her fur coat. And her, I love that her eyebrows are so high. She's almost, like, shocked. She's like, I'm not even a villain. I don't know why I'm in this bag. All I enjoy is fashion. So, I am super into this, and I can't believe that now I only have... Have Frollo left. Can we go three for three? Um, let's find out. Oh my god, I th I thought it was him for a second because they both have elaborate hats, but it's Jafar, and I do love Jafar. I think I already have one Jafar for trade though, so you know, I have a second one. It's Re Return of Jafar. Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar. That's what we're dealing with right now. I don't think I've ever noticed his, his cobra stick, though, to be honest, and so that's really neat. It's, of course, really small. It's hard to see any detail, but the cobra is really nice. That's a, that's a cool touch. I wonder if this is a sign of my luck to come, though. So, so far, two out of three were the ones I needed. If Frollo's in here, like, oh my god. I don't... I've won, I've won today, I've beaten the villains. Let's find out. No, it's not Frollo, but it is a really cool one. And I've seen a lot of people not know who this is, which is why I mentioned some of them when I showed you the pins. I opened King Candy, and King Candy is the bad guy in Wreck-It Ralph, which is a huge spoiler, but you really should have seen Wreck-It Ralph by now. Wreck-It Ralph 2 is coming out, so... I can't spoil anything in that one for you. But King Candy's a really cool villain because the whole time you don't think he is. Unless you're smarter than I am and you figured it out. Alright, I think I'll just do the last one here too and then I'll show you both villains at the end. I'm really wondering who this is. Can I get lucky? Can I get lucky? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Frollo! It's him! I'm done! I, I beat the villains today! I've slayed the metaphorical dragons! I've, I, I, I've gotten it. I'm done. I have beaten this pack. This is the second mystery set I've ever completed with a lot of help through trades. It's a big shout out to anybody who's ever traded a villain to me. And I am on cloud nine. I could have terrible luck the rest of this video. And I don't even care. I don't even care. So there's King Candy. I love his enormous nose, his old guy bushy eyebrows, his amazing bow tie, and the crown comes off of the pin again, which is super cool. And purple's a good color for him, like background-wise. He should, he should use that. And there he is, arguably the most evil villain of them all. In my opinion, Frollo is probably the most unforgivable and worst villain. He doesn't like maybe kill as many people as some other villains do or even affect as many people. But if, if you haven't seen The Hunchback of Notre Dame recently, whew, buddy, it's, it's rough. He has this whole scene about, uh, he has this whole song about Esmeralda and it's the creepiest thing. And I can't believe Disney even went with it because it, it's, it's, I don't even want to go into it because it might not be suitable to even, I feel like I don't even want to talk about it in case there's people who are not adults watching this channel. But this, this guy, he's, he's pretty gnarly. Pretty cute pin, though. Look at his super high cheekbones. Like, how did they manage that in this pin? That's pretty funny. All right. World of Evil. 
check that one off the list, huh? Okay, so I'm thinking, let's try to continue this good luck with a series I've had really bad luck with, the Tsum Tsum Villains. There are only nine pins in this pop, in this set, and right now I technically have six of them, but I'm, I'm not that happy with the quality on two of them, so I kind of hope I get those pins again and they're, they're like perfect. I think it's kind of funny that Tsum Tsum is in quotes, like are they trying to be ironic about something? Are these not actually Tsum Tsums? I'm not sure, did the copy editor just not know what to do that day? All right, and the options. Who do I have, who do I need? Need Dr. Facilier. I would actually love to open up another Ursula because I have a friend who would like to trade that. A Genie Jafar I have. Maleficent Dragon I've opened three of, so I definitely have it. Uh, Lady Tremaine I've opened. She has a tiny, tiny little flaw. It's not unlivable though, so if I don't get her, it's cool, but I'd like to get her again. Desperately want Maleficent in human form. The Queen. I was not pleased at all with the quality I got in the last video. A lot of you were very sad for me, which is really nice um, that you care, and so I hope I get her again. Captain Hook I have, and Cruella. So maybe Cruella will be in one of these boxes today, and it'll be a big Cruella DeVille kind of day, huh? Let's find out. I think I should just open this, this whole box at the camera. I don't know why, I'm just feeling that. And no big preamble. Oh no, I think I know what this is because it's so large, but it could be, it could be good. It could be good, let's find out. Cause now I'm thinking that there are two options that are fairly large. Is this the right way? Oh no! Oh, this isn't who I thought it was at all! Oh, I thought I felt like horns, but no, okay, so it was his hat. Um, and I was also thinking it could be Maleficent in human form horns. So it's Captain Hook. I do have this pin already, but it's cool to open my own. And, uh, okay, maybe you guys can help me with the Tsum Tsum pins. Are these their hands or their feet? So I'm assuming these are ears. So are these hands or feet? I, I honestly don't know. I, I'm gonna say they're hands, but that's like the only weird part of Tsum Tsum pins for me. I love how his eyebrows are all the way up. Like he doesn't look quite so villainous, he looks shocked. So uh, I'm kind of shocked too. I kind of thought I was gonna get one of the ones I really needed. But that pin could be in here. So let's find out. This one doesn't feel so big. God, these villains do not like to leave their baggies. Oh no, it's another one I already have. All right, well, these villains got me. This box beat me. We have Genie Jafar, and he is looking pretty fabulous with his earring and his all his gold accents really pop, and I just, I really like his facial hair. It's really neat. Okay, so these are definitely ears on the side because he has ears like this. Hands or feet, I don't know. Hands, I'm thinking, I don't know. All right, two more for the trader pile. So you know what? Let's just open up the second box now. And I think I have, checking my pin stack, I think I have two more of these boxes. So don't cry for me and be sad if I don't get the ones I'm looking for because I'll just try again. All right, who's this one going to be? Oh, nice, okay. Oh, it's Lady Tremaine, and she looks perfect. I don't see a single flaw in her, so I'm really, really thrilled here. She's gonna look so good on my Cinderella board too, um, which I'm growing. I don't wanna show it to you yet because it's still in its infancy stages, but I'm, I'm, I'm growing it for you. I'm trying to show you. But she looks awesome. She looks really cool. Somebody commented before that they loved the color pops on her because she's very like white, gray and beige, but then she has purple eyeshadow and like teal earrings. And I think she does have teal earrings in the um, in the cartoon, but I never remembered her, her having such garish eyeshadow. I really need to watch this movie again. Which means, I'm trying not to feel it, if Disney did what they've been doing recently, which is having the same pins appear in the same box, this could be the Evil Queen. And I wouldn't be mad at that if her quality's better. So let's find out. <gasps> it's not! Oh, it's not, but it's the one I wanted the most! I'm having good luck today. I'm having good luck today, guys. It's Maleficent in her human form. Oh my God. I love this. Talk about pops of color. These aren't pops of color. We got, we have some, some pops of color on Lady Tremaine, but we have full color on Maleficent. 
and th this was perfect this was so great I'm so happy I think I still need a few more though so I'm glad I have those other two boxes <laughs> And Lady Tremaine, the OG stepmother, the one who gives all step parents a bad name. And she has um lime green eyes, because I guess, all right, fair enough. But I, I do like the colors in her. So I'm gonna guess that these are hands because I feel like she has black shoes. So I guess they'd use blacks if they were these these would be black if they were feet. So I um I'm gonna I'm gonna say hands. Let me know if, if you agree with that in the comments. Don't you love her hair though? Oh, I wish I could get that kind of height. I don't know, normally show the backs of pins because I just don't really care, but look how cool this pin even looks from behind with all the, the jagged details. Oh my god, I'm done. Like, first of all, Maleficent is kind of looking like a vampire in this pin, and I don't hate that at all. I like vampire stuff. I, I really am enjoying her colors, the, the, the teal of her face, the, the black, but you still have the silver details in the horns, so they're very defined, and then the purple cape. It's it's just so great. I love this. Maleficent, I saw the, the live action movie uh, maybe a month and a half ago, and now I'm like, give me Maleficent all the time. I love this. And I, I like the um, contrasting color of the yellow for her eyes. They really, really stand out. Okay, I'm super glad that I opened that the, um, and didn't wait till the end because I'm back on like a, a, a beating the villains high. The last pack that I have today is the good versus evil pack. And now I have opened this before my channel, but it was, I think, two bags in one video, so it's not like a ton. Um, and I think I'm just going to try to remember who I have. Um, so let me, sh let me show you the options here. And today I do hope that good is going to triumph over evil. So we have Simba and Scar, and we have a lot of really cool characters we could get. I'm hoping to maybe complete this. I already have Prince Philip and Maleficent in her dragon form. I already have Hades, but I don't have Hercules to go against him. I did open Eric and Ursula. I don't think I have Simba or Scar. I don't think I have either of them. I don't have Madame Mim or Merlin. I have Oogie Boogie and Jack. I got Jack so many times. I do have Cruella. And the Dalmatians, so that's cool. And I I actually in Disneyland traded for a, an authentic Radigan, but I don't have Basil. So I guess my perfect pack would be Scar, Simba, Hercules, hmm, Basil, and the characters from the Sword and the Stone, but that's six, so I can't have a perfect pack. But we'll, we'll, we'll find out. I wouldn't also mind getting another Ursula because I think she's super popular and I think people would like to trade for her and probably the same Z's with Eric. Okay, let's get into this, and the first one I will show you my reaction, and then we'll do some in camera, you know, you know the drill, you know how it goes. Alright. Okay, well, Good's winning so far, but I'm a little annoyed that Good's winning because of the one it is. It's Eric. I'm not actually annoyed because I just said I think he'll make a really good trader, someone will want him, and I think Eric is, is pretty handsome. And also, the all these pins have really unique borders, and maybe Ursula will be in here, and that would be a really cool set to trade to somebody if they needed both, so that's pretty neat. And there's super handsome Prince Eric, and look at his um, background, his border. It's Ursula's tentacle. Isn't that creepy cool? I love it. And um, yeah, Eric, he doesn't really look ready to tackle Ursula. He kind of more so looks ready for his GQ shoot, but that's all right. We love Eric. Who's going to be next? So far, Good is winning. Is Good going to continue to win? What do you think? No, it's all tied up. And here we have Madame Mim. And I've gotta be honest, I'm not a huge Sword in the Stone fanatic. I have never actually made it all the way through this movie, so I don't know that much about Madame Mim, but I do need to try it again. And um, now I hope Merlin's in here to go with her. She's pretty cool looking, like pretty funky, but pretty cool. And I, she, what, I guess she's a witch, right? So that's pretty neat for Halloween. Okay, looking for any of the ones I don't have, Ursula to go with Eric or Merlin to go with Madame Min, which is one of the ones I don't have. So I kind of repeated that. All right, let's find out. I'm feeling like this is gonna be Merlin. I feel like it's gonna be at least a good guy. Wow, I was, I was so wrong. Wow, on every count, we have one of the baddies of them all, Oogie Boogie. 
uh, I like Nightmare Before Christmas, but he is so creepy to me, honestly. Like, they did a good job making a bad guy. He is so creepy. I feel like sometimes he's shown on pins in this very green form, which I really enjoy, and sometimes he's in, like, a sandy color, and he's way creepier. So I'm, I'm glad of his colors on this pin, and I do like the Halloween color border. But I already had him. We'll do one more on camera. I still really, I really want Merlin. I really, really want Merlin. No, wow, I cannot open this without opening Jack. Because before I opened this, I traded for Jack, and then I opened him in three of these packs now. So I have four Jack Skellingtons. That's way more Jacks than one girl needs. But I do like his colors again, and he's very Halloween-y, and I guess that was my pair in this bag. I got the Nightmare Before Christmas pair. It's just a shame that I already had that pair. Will the good luck I've had throughout this whole video triumph? Will I get Merlin? Let's find out together. What do you think? I did. I got Merlin, guys. He's right here. Oh my god. That's so good. I had such good luck today. I'm thrilled. You guys really brought me some good luck today, I think. And Merlin's looking phenomenal. I'm so happy to have this, actually. His background's a little basic. It's not as cool as some of the other borders, but his hat is super cool. His beard's rocking, and he looks determined to kick some butt. So here's Merlin, and yeah, again, you can see his border is just like kind of plain, but it is nice. I like the little sparkles right here, and Mim also has sparkles, because I guess it's like they fight, they have a magical fight in the movie, so maybe this is representing the magic that they're both fighting with. So it's not bad, and I guess maybe, maybe the border would have been too busy with the sparkles inside. I really like this set. I'm glad I have it. I now I'm inspired to go watch that movie again. All right, everybody, thank you for um, sticking with me through this mini vlog -oween. Don't forget to go watch Robin's Buddha Tuesday series and go and watch all of her old videos and subscribe as well. Um, I'm going to link that down below. And I'm just, I'm just really excited um, about this whole month, about the good luck I've had today and about all the upcoming videos. So stick around and make sure to say hi in the comments below. Have a great magical Disney day, and I'll see you real soon.